Hey, this is Eric with Tibco. Thanks for setting aside some time to allow me to show you our whiteboard. Um, yeah, let's get started. So uh, back in 1987, uh, we had a gentleman, uh, the founder of Tibco, working on Wall Street. He was looking for a way to increase his trading efficiencies. Uh, and what he came up with was this idea of integration. Uh, so he took his ERP systems, uh, CRM, uh, you know, any other inventory, um, all the systems, and he was able to connect them to get them speaking with each other and get information flowing more efficiently. Um, this was revolutionary in its time. Uh, it's called the Enterprise Service Bus. Um, it was a very technologically advanced type of architecture. Uh, that uh, technology and software would only build off of. Um, so along with this uh, idea of the service bus, there are a few other parts uh, that were incorporated into it, uh, such as BPM, Business Process Management, MDM, Master Data Management, uh, B2B, you know, business to business. Uh, so this kind of gave the, the integration a little bit of a personal touch uh, and allowed more of a personal, um, you know, type of relationship with uh, the overall integrated systems. Um, so from there, uh, you know, com our competitors, our companies, our clients, they were looking for more um, in, the in the world of technology. They wanted to be able to track events um, such as, um, you know, clicking a link on a website or adding something into their shopping cart. Um, so we connected our events server to track all the events uh, being taken place within the enterprise. Um, again, this was very great. You know, this was a great techno technological advance kind of help companies become more efficient uh, and correlate events to make some contextual offers for client, for potential customers. Um, so, you know, technology is very changing. It's always, there's always changes. It's innovative. Uh, shortly after this came along the idea of big data uh, driven by a concept of Internet of Things and social media. Uh, so you have RFID tags, you have sensors, you have mobile apps, and down in your social media outlets, you have your YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram. So here you have all this data, all this big data, and you know, no real good way to kind of sort through it and clean it up. So a company called Hadoop came along and kind of created a way to cleanse the data, organize it, keep it neat, structured, makes it a lot easier to then go ahead and analyze that data. Um, so you can, you, know, you can get all the data coming from these big data sources, clean it up, organize it in Hadoop. Uh, and then go ahead and proceed to, to make analytics uh, based off, off that information. Uh, this was great, you know, again, revolutionary. The only downfall is that it is not real time. Uh, so unfortunately, when, you, when you're just analyzing with this model, uh, you're not looking at the most recent information. This is information that could be a few minutes old, a few, day old, a few days old, a few months old. It's not real time. So our competitors and our customers, they wanted to be able to have a streaming uh, analytic uh, platform. So we come up with Streambase. And what this does is it takes all these data points, these data outlets, and in real live time can track them and uh, you know you can kind of use that to, to also bake your base your analytics off of as well. So now when you have the ability to kind of take a you know look in the rear view mirror, some would say, and look at your historical analytics along with the most recent up to date real time streaming analytics, uh, 
you can go ahead correlate that with kind of some events going on in your server and come up with this idea of predictive analytics. Um, so for instance, you know, you're kind of using some historical data. Uh, I like to use the example of investors and traders. They rely heavily on historical data. Uh, at the same time, they also rely heavily on streaming information to make a predictive trade or predictive investment. Uh, they can go ahead and correlate within their event server, um, you know, XYZ trade happened or, you know, this stock fell or this happened, which will increase XYZ stock value. So based off your analytics and your event processing, you can, uh, you know, it gives the traders ability to make the best trades uh, to their capability. Um, so this, this whole idea here is awesome. Uh, you know, it's revolutionizing uh, enterprise business. Um, and here at Timco, we kind of like to call this the core. So it is the core, you know, the really core of your IT. Um, analysts such as Gartner call, refer to it as mode one. Uh, so you have your core of your IT, it's real IT heavy stuff, all your systems, integrated data flowing, analytics, event processing, it's all great. Um, but, you know, like I said before in the beginning, technology is ever changing. Uh, pretty soon, this idea came about uh, with APIs. Now what APIs do, it allows you to connect your enterprise and reach, you know, additional consumers partners to get your business uh, into you know everyone's hands so it can be seen by more people um, the best example for that is the Google Maps uh, it's very you know it's the best example to understand at a high level so you're on a website you're trying to find their location uh, you click you know find this nearest, no nearest location and a little Google map will come up with a dot you know of, of the location that is Google Maps utilizing their API to reach additional consumers, to reach additional partners. Um, so, you know, kids these days, they're not asking, oh, what's the company's website? They're asking, what's the company's API? Um, you know, so, uh, so APIs are big. They're, they're, you know, crucial when kind of growing the enterprise. Um, and uh, we offer some, some great API management as well. So now we have all this stuff going on here. I'm going to change markers real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have our core, our mode one. Um, and again, technology is ever changing. Come up with this idea of the edge. All right. So we have the edge down here. What's the edge? Uh, referred to as by analysts as uh, mode two. So down here in the edge, you have all your cloud first companies. So you have your Ubers, uh, you have you know your Facebooks, uh, those type of companies who who operate in the cloud. They didn't start their IT structure, their architecture up here. They started it down here. They said. We're not going to make that big IT investment. Instead, we're going to run everything in the cloud. Cloud first approach, it revolutionary, revolutionized business industry as it is today. Uh, so the whole, the whole idea with this cloud first initiative is to be able to build things and build them fast, be able to fail fast or succeed fast, and then on to the next project. Uh, we call this DevOps. Kit allows you to build, test, and deploy various um, different services within your cloud uh, and allows you to, to stay agile um, with uh, current trends. So you have these what we call digital native companies. They're building services, they're testing, they're deploying all, this, all these great things. But uh, where do you do it? Where do you put it? What do you do with it? How do you govern it? That's where Tibco comes in uh, to help administer 
all these services. Uh, so you got your admin up here. And the whole thing that we like to do with this uh, is, you know, we like to work how you work. So we can support your cloud apps. We can support your microservices, your containers. Everything you have here, we can support it. All right, excuse me. So now, you, again, you have these companies. They can come cloud first. They're agile. They can make changes, build, test, deploy quick through DevOps. And they, they have a place to house it all, to administer it all. And we can support that. We work how you work. So now, again, this is, re this is revolutionary. Companies, the newer age companies, they all want to be down here uh, and not necessarily start, start up here in uh, mode one. So to, to accommodate you know, this, this change in technological architecture, we also updated our uh, pricing model our schedules. Um, so we have more of a flexible pricing model. Um, it includes perpetual licenses, um, subscription licenses, and also usage licenses. Uh, so we can, we can really match any of your needs. And we also offer a sweet pricing model um, that gives you the ability to use all our connectors, all our adapters, add-ins, everything. Uh, you can kind of pick and choose what you need to use and it's all included. Um, so now what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of companies trying to make the jump to from this cloud or from your core to the edge and vice versa. So uh, what we're seeing is Companies want to put cloud services integrated into their enterprise. Anything as a service. We support that. They want to get their DevOps up in here to make them more agile. We support it. Their microservices, their containerization of microservices. We support it. All of this, TIPCO supports. We can support you here. We can support you here, and we can support you, do uh, you know, making a transition from either or. Um, so, uh, you know, this is this is kind of where we're at now. This is our whiteboard and our approach. Uh, I hope you you know enjoyed it. Feel free to ask me any questions, and uh, I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.